Now let's talk about one more possibility for creating a case for your Arduino prototype, and that is 3D printing. And I've got a lot of printers here, and you'd think that one of them would be working right now. Sadly, I hate to admit, they really aren't. But that doesn't make 3D printing not a viable solution. If you can print something like a quadcopter with a 3D printer, you can certainly print a box for your Arduino project. And even with something like this PrinterBot Simple, or even an old cupcake MakerBot, you can easily print models. And the one thing I wanted to show you was on Thingiverse here on my computer. And if we go to Thingiverse and we just type in Arduino case, you can see a lot of things come up. There's all sorts of cases that you can print. This actually looks really nice. I haven't printed this one before. And it has some pretty interesting features. So this one actually doesn't hide all the header pins. So it's a pretty neat enclosure for your Arduino. There's also a few others here that I wanted to show you. And this one's by Kelly Egan are really quite nice because if we look at the thing files, there's the different bumpers, there's the example code, and you're able to modify that code so that you can build your own boxes to your own specific dimensions. Another one that I liked here was by Old Steve, and he has some pretty cool face plates that hold peer sensors and ping sensors and all of that. So basically, if you need to create a case for your Arduino and you're only doing one or two and you just need something to clean it up, 3D modeling a case in Tinkercad or some other kind of very low-end CAD modeling software is a very viable solution. And if you can't model, guess what? Go to Thingiverse, download it, head over to your local hackerspace, find a printer that's working, and print out a case for your Arduino project.